Ooh, I love the atmosphere. <laughs> I love when they set an atmosphere like this. It's an actual video, though. Isn't it? Yeah. Bloody hell. Oh, no, okay. What? I never thought I'd hear this song this way. Oh, so it's a proper cola. Damn, damn. Turn it up. No, okay, I'm sorry, but like, wow. I so it's love, a proper, proper cola. Go on. I really like that sound, that like acoustic-ish sound to it all. I love that. Oh, they feel that aesthetic really well done. Mm. I mean, pause. It's very cool that, like, this is even a possibility, I right? I know! <laughs> I mean, who would have thought SB19, the pop hit, would make such a beautiful collaboration with Ben and Ben? Because they're genuine like, singers. I def there okay, you go. No, that drama looks like a kid. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's that young. They just look young. He's done age, don't he? Well, no, he's got I a tattoo, so he can't be a kid. Oh, I don't. I, I, I definitely not underage. That's that's for sure. <laughs> well, look, look, look how young this person looks, father. Look, look. What a drama? Look at it. <laughs> he does look very young. Yeah. But he's I don't like think... ten years younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> the hell, what the hell are those in those jeans, bro? What do you eat, people? <laughs> Why don't you age? Oh uh, yeah, good question. Anyway, I would like to know. Let's keep watching this one. What were you saying? So no, it's good. I I like. He's brilliant, this guy. Hey, minor progression. That's why I like Ben and Ben. I love him. I love how the girl in the in the gamer is having her best life. Ooh, did you hear that core arrangement? They did like a minor chord to like. Ooh, that is nice. Do you hear that? Nice! That's fine, that's fine. Bravo! I'd love to know her name. <laughs> I love this! Well, it, was it Ben and Ben also who collaborated with a, uh, uh, or was it that another band that collaborated with Day Sixes? Uh, ben and Ben. Yeah, so they seem to really adore Young doing K. this stuff, and I love them for that because that, that's that's one of my biggest uh, 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 things with bands sometimes. That specifically bands don't are not the ones that have the most, not open, but I mean don't have the most many many opportunities to collaborate with other artists because. They're basically their best collaborations are there. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. you can have your conga player singing. You can have your pianist sing. You can have I your mean, drum player sing, especially in that case, which I think they're, they're all kind of related. It's very peculiar, uh, though. I, they're it, very talented on their own. So you don't really need anyone else. Mm -hmm. But in that in that sense, you also kind of limit your doors, uh, new audiences and new fans and also new sounds and new music. Yeah. And, you know, I'm so happy that they've collaborated with, you know, people from the Korean industry and now with some of the most promising figures in in. in the Filipino industry, SB19. The fellas are really, really, really very, promising very. future. I mean, it, this is this is when questions like how can you make a, a great song greater come into play because they didn't detach themselves from the original feel of the song because there a lot of it maintained itself, but they they were able to add and and change and and modify to amplify the song it, itself and. I, I, Dude, that's a tough task. I think that's they a added very more tough task. Yeah. 
a lot more details, very minimalistic, but they added so many dynamics, like changing from a major major chord into a minor chord, just to give that depth, that suspension, the you know the, the little yeah the little add of 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 the string section with the um melodies and and the plays and details of the keyboard. I mean, everything is so very beautifully thought through. It's very cool because it's such a treat to listen to if you think of like the the lyric video right which was kind of like black and white type of thing right it was like it was like a map it was setting up a map but yeah. the colors so were very monochrome right yeah. pa- well not monochrome but pastels yeah sepias that's the yeah. type of thing right but what Ben and Ben have kind of brought in is they've, they've created more shadows. They've maybe given more lights depth, and lights. Shades and shades. Yeah. yeah, they've cre- they've painted a completely different picture. If you were seeing a map, now you're seeing the foot trails that you have to walk through, you know? I think I, didn't, I don't think they painted a different picture. I think they I painted think a more did. detailed one. Okay, fair enough. You know? I like that. And I think that's why the set is the way it's made and the colors of the outfits are the way it's made. It's sort of to add more depth. And the uh, and atmosphere to yeah, to this to the whole new song. version. I I think by the way that the production in this in this video is absolutely Strip. outstanding. This sound mixing and and mastering of this is so raw, is so real. I am so down for it. Obviously, the lights and camera <laughs> work is absolutely stunning. It's good video. Wow. <laughs> New sounds, new colors, new. Wow. Well, hold up. We'll go back, but this, that's another great point to emphasize there. I think we've seen other musicians do this really well. Mm-hmm. This kind of, I mean, it turned into a bit of a meme. This whole TED talk on tension that just fucking <laughs> went on for so long. Is that what about? <laughs> yes. But uh, it, it's, it's essentially, uh, uh, it's a key point to creating a climax. And I think essentially, the problem nowadays with a lot of music is that the climax is very predictable mm-hmm. and it's sort of like... Uh, you it, see it coming miles away. Yeah, and, and that that's problematic because that lets me know that music is becoming predictable and that someone who's a music head, that worries me. Mm-hmm. But you th- th- that was a simple change in tempo and, and, uh, and uh, what would you call it? And in, in narrative. Uh, right? Yes, yes. It was changing narrative. Right? You well, thought the you song had a was... key change. It also helps, no, no, right? No, before the key change. Just saw the violin. Oh, yes, of yeah, course. The violin piece, right? Which created the, the emptiness and mm-hmm. absence of music to For then... the key change. The key change, yeah. right? Which okay. is essentially the climax. Um, but... Maybe, guys, it's going to go for a while. Okay. Uh, but the... You don't have to do it to an extreme extent. It didn't have to be a 30-second uh, violin solo. It didn't have to be a 10-second a pause uh, of silence. It, it, but the utilization of such break in routine and, 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 uh, and patterns makes music more enjoyable yeah, because absolutely. it becomes unpredictable. Mm-hmm. And only really good bands, uh, Exhibit A, Ben and Ben, are able to do this in mm-hmm. a minimalistic way so that the song is also concise, so it doesn't lose streaming value, uh, that the song is also sort of easily digestible for a mm-hmm. wider audience, mm-hmm. but it still maintained that sort of bit of magic yep. that I think everyone sort of enjoyed, because I thought the song was going to go to an end. Me too. I think there is, um, you know, dynamics in music are so enjoyable, especially when they're done in a minimalistic, effective enough way. And to me, Ben and Ben have really encapsul- like, encaptured that in their music, in their compositions themselves. They, they know who, who needs to be highlighted in each section of the song. And that, that to me is so important. Not a lot of bands are aware of the... Uh, the they don't pay attention to those details. And uh, it's, it's, um, it's really magical what they can, they're able to do with very little... It's it's clever. God, they have so many so details because there's so many members. That's right. right. So. And adding adding SB19 to the whole recipe, it's is like wow, you know. It's a complex you, equation to get. It correct. is. It We're is. Doing it right. But what a track, man. <laughs> Woo! 
came up what with this idea. What the hell? A person, who arranged person this person needs stuff? a hug. Wow, I need to know more details. Who arranged the song? Who, who, who made the whole Juiced thing? Produced by Sony. Okay, well, you know, big names there already. Uh, uh, general manager, Jim Roslin, Pineda, Show, uh, da, 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 da. Executive content creators. Arranged by Poch Barretto. Patricia Lasaten and Ben and Ben. So th they three came up with all the arrangements. So I think they're all Ben and Ben, basically. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't surprise me. I no. want to know who the hell came up with the idea to make him collaborate. Oh, that's a great question. That's a crazy uh, idea, dude. Fantastic question, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's so hard, bro. Man. It's so hard to get correct. Oh. Ben and Ben is already like 57,000 members. <laughs> there's so many, there are so many musicians yeah, there in there. Were, yeah. There were 11 on display now. 11 people on display. Whew, that's a big band. Well, SB19 is, what is it? Seven? Six, seven? Six, right? Yeah. Seven. Seven members. I think it's seven yeah. members, right? So, mm. it could be I could be incorrect. What? I do apologize. It's just so much music sometimes gets confused. I, I just think there is so much um, beauty in, in this video. The, 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 the cohesive oh, sorry, five, energy. Five. 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 Uh, the cohesive energy between both bands, between... I mean, everybody was in, in a high that was absolutely untouchable. Like, they, they became so unattached Elevated. from the song itself that it, it, it was a complete experience. I mean, fantastic. Uh, the arrangement was beautiful. The the cinematography, uh, I mean, goes yeah, beyond. Truly you know what the lyric is about. Yeah, it's about... That's the song, mate, I showed you. That is about uh, Mom uh, their and father. Dad. That was dedicated to the, the parents. Uh, it does. It it got it got really high. Yeah, it got really heightened. It felt like a worship. Mapa in the sense of mother and father. Ma. Mom. Pa, pa. But also it means map. Uh, yeah. Nice. So really cool. It's a really cool play. It certainly became elevated system. there. The sort of the, the, the energy, the atmosphere Ooh. there. Um, I would encourage everyone to sort of watch the original with headphones on. Mm. Uh, I always say this, but it really there, there's a lot of details that are easy to miss. Um, I'll certainly be checking out again with headphones and I'd encourage you to do the same. So, yeah, let us know what else you'd like to check out and goodbye. <laughs>